Doc, you better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. G'day guys, welcome back to the Hillman Show. As you can tell by the intro, this is not Pokemon. Yes, I love Pokemon, but one of my all-time favorite movie trilogies is Back to the Future. I don't know why, but for some reason I'm just obsessed with it, even though I grew up in the 90s and it's an 80s film. What's this? What's this? So one night I was on Facebook in bed and scrolling through and it popped up with an ad for Zavi. So today, we have a Back to the Future Plutonium Edition Time Travel Memories. This is metal tin here. It rocked up today. And as you can see on the back, this is pretty much everything that you get in there. Um, it is memorabilia from the movie. Obviously, it's not real memorabilia. It's a copy of it. And um, yeah, it gets my juices flowing. So I'm a collector of not just Pokemon, but pretty much anything. And that's my issue. Let's just crack into it, shall we? All right. The official seal has been broken. This is a nice tin. I hope the lights, I don't know if the lights really do it justice, but uh, how do we open this? I'm gonna crack her open, all embossed right there. Oh, okay, okay. Well, first of all, we've got a bit of foam there, which is like the flux capacitor sort of sits in there, I'm pretty sure. It says, and it's copy number 3,808 out of 6,000. There's only 6,000 of these made. So first up, oh, your paper clipped up, nice. You have a photo here of uh, Marty and his family and as you can see, I don't know if you've seen the movie, and if it's working on the camera, yeah, but they're disappearing, obviously, when he goes into the future and whatnot. That's cool. Got a letter, it's like, I don't know if you want me to read it. Dear Dave and Linda, if you are reading this, probably because I haven't been home in a while. This is what's written in the movie. Your brother in time, Marty, P.S. Don't, that's pretty cool. So they'll just photocopy that and keep selling it. That right there is a cool piece. So as far as I know, you go from 1955, you got a section for 1955, 1985, and 2015. So we've got an out of time, California, distressed number plate. Always wanted one of these, still in plastic, so probably keep it in the plastic. That is pretty sweet. Under that, you got the 2015, 2015, Barcode number plate. This was on the DeLorean when they went in the future back to 2015. Also in plastic. Oh, who's that gorgeous man? There he is. Plutonium. Caution. Radioactive material. I actually thought there was a liquid in there when I saw it, but I think it's just like resin. So, you know, that doesn't go in there. You know, it's pretty cool. Like, I will stick it there. It's pretty sweet. Actually, I'll just put it back. All right, you got the blast from the past, 2015, 20, 10 years of bringing the past to the future. This is from the like cafe 80s or that store where it gets the sports almanac maybe. I really wish you got the sports almanac, but you do not, unfortunately. This might be the, is this the 2015 again, I think? Yeah, it is, it is. All right, so we got the Mr. Fusion sticker. That's on the uh, thing where he puts food in there to get fuel instead of plutonium. Uh, ooh, Cafe 80s coasters. I don't know if you can see that. That is sick. Oh, the receipt. That's cool. So that's the receipt for the sports almanac. Almanac Gray's Almanac 1950 $32 at 19 so if you got the almanac in here, that'd be sick. But unfortunately, we don't, but that is all good. Uh, map of Hill Valley. I don't know if you can see that one as well. 3D map of Hill Valley. That's cool. We got the jaws coming out there. Hey, Mayor Goldie Wilson. Oh, rotary. Bit of rotary exchange. We have that in Australia here. Another Cafe 80 sign. Ooh. Cafe 80s, if you can see that, and then the uh, burger with fresh lettuce, iceberg lettuce. Well, you'd hope it's fresh, mate, because if it's not, <laughs> paying all that money for that shit. Oh, okay, this is from when he sneaks into the house. I'll try and show scenes from it. You're fired. 
from his work. That is another iconic part of the film. And then, to top it off, it's been ripped out of a magazine. I like how they've done that. Bit of a distressed hoverboard for kids. Now with removable scooter handlebars. And on the other side is the Pitbull, which uh, Biff Tannen rides that one. That is a pretty sweet piece. Ah, uh, that was 2015, that was cool. Uh, as you can see here, this says 1985. So we're gonna go back to 1985 here. What do we got? Uh, honest, uh, Mayor Goldie Wilson, uh, elect pin. So you get that in camera. Pretty cool. Nothing too shit hot. Art in Revolution. I don't even remember where that is in the movie, but uh, it's another pin. Okay, gold. Uh, where are we? Screen. Gold poker chip for Biff's Tannen uh, when he. After he gets the sports almanac and he gets rich. There's uh, one of his tokens for the. Um, for the bloody casino. And then we've got to save the clock tower badge with a ribbon on there. Quite a cool piece again. I like that. That's cool. Probably not going to wear it. Oh, and here we go. Here's another poker chip, but not in gold this time. So, oh, there it is. Biff Tannen's Pleasure Paradise. Dirty, dirty boy. And there's old Biffy boy there. And then, as you'd expect, well, I'll go from the outside. Save the clock tower. Um, this is what they give out. Yeah. This is what he finds on the ground and goes, yeah, we're going to save the clock tower. Anyway. You all know the scene. Clock tower struck by lightning. Save the clock tower! Save the clock tower! Mayor Wilson is sponsoring an initiative to replace that clock. Don't forget to take a flyer. Save the clock tower! Oh, and on the back, it says, I love you, for, and that's the number. That's from uh, bloody Jennifer. Uh, Dr. Emmett Brown Enterprises, 24-hour scientific services. There's his business card. That is pretty cool. Uh, funny. Absent slip from school. Marty McFly, Slacker, Strickland. So they've just obviously photocopied these from the movie and just... George McFly. He's done his, uh, it's his bookmark from his book when he goes back in 1985. He's actually an author. Do not open until 1985. Well, what are we now? 2021, I think I'm allowed to open it. What do we got? Lou's Cafe. Dear Dr. Brown, on the night that I go back in time at 1.30 a.m., you will be sh shot by terrorists. Please take whatever precautions are necessary to prevent this terrible disaster. Your friend Marty. So that's the letter he leaves at the end of the first movie or second movie? Can't remember. He goes back in time, wears a bulletproof vest. Smart. And uh, yeah, Hill Valley downtown map. Again, they love the maps. And this is for 1985, so pretty cool. Which is obviously, it was filmed on the lot of Universal Studios in Los Angeles. So that's cool. All right, and last but not least, we have 1955. Oh, and then there's 1885. I forgot. I keep forgetting. There's actually a lot more. Because 85 is the first one. I get mixed up. It goes so back and forward in all the movies. All right, there's a photo of MILF Jennifer. Uh, and then she falls in love with her own son, Calvin Klein. There's Marty and... Uh, Sorry, George McFly and Jennifer at the prom. Noise. Enchantment under the sea dance. This is, uh, yeah, where they fall in love, big part of the movie. Continuing on, Hill Valley, uh, Valley. It's a vintage map. And it's a big one. It's a big map there. I just got the clock tower, iconic, that is at Universal Studios, which they also filmed Gilmore Girls there. If any of you watch Gilmore Girls, interesting, I know. Lou's Cafe. Little insert. Ooh, a little menu there, that's a bit nice. Uh, hamburgers, 25 cents, so 1985, bloody cheap. 1955, that was cheap, mate. The old flux capacitor that Doc drew after he uh, fell over and hit his head. 
So honestly, the directors and like whoever wrote this movie thinking of this shit is just insane. And then we go on 1885. So this is where, wow, that's where they go back. So this is here lied, Emmett Brown died, and then, oh, disappeared. Oh, Emmett Brown dead. No, he's not. So when he goes back into the wild, wild west, pretty cool. Okay, town map. It's probably going to be the biggest one that we've got. Stand back, guys, stand back. This parchment is thousands of years old. Yes, maps. Where's G Gorge? That she falls in. Okay, that's map of time machine. Good, good reading. That's where you hit the time machine. Jesus, I want to go watch this movie now. Unbelievable scenes. Now we've probably got a town map. There's your town map this time. Hill Valley, 1885. You see that? Pretty cool. This parchment, as I said, is thousands of years old. Mmm, smells old. Got a Biff Tannen reward poster. Or Mad Mad Dog Tannen. Buford Mad Dog. One of robbery. And a James Strickland. That is a cool piece. Don't tell me that's all you get. Alright, well that's all you get for the 1985. I thought you get a photo of them in front of the clock tower. Yeah, maybe you don't. You're a good collector. I reckon that's pretty cool. Like, not a sponsored video or anything, but this one here, as you can see, is 3,808 of 6,000. I thought, I better buy one. I want to be one of the lucky 6,000 in the world to own one of these, so... Um, yeah, they have a lot, and I mean a lot of cool stuff, so... Not just for this movie or whatever, Pokemon related, everything. Just collectibles, collectibles, Zavi. So it came from the UK, and it was, it's pretty good stuff, so... Anyway, thanks for watching. A little bit of a different video, but please do not forget to like and subscribe. We will continue with the Pokemon stuff. By the time this video is out, I might be in my studio, or, uh, anyway, I say that after every video, but, uh, remember, take it easy, and if it's easy, take it home.